A Roswan fusion or a Roswan rearrangement refers to the abnormal attachment or joining of a part of the Roswan gene to another gene. This causes Roswan to drive abnormal cancer growth. Roswan fusions occur in approximately 1 to 2% of non-small cell lung cancer. And these are extremely important to identify because there are a number of effective drugs targeting ROS1 called targeted therapies that could be used to treat your cancer. This brings me to key point number one. And this is really for anyone who's diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. And that is to make sure that your tumor has been tested for these potentially targetable gene changes like ROS1 fusions in order to make sure that all potentially effective therapy options are explored. Key point number two, once you know that you have ROS1 positive lung cancer, remember that there are a number of treatment options that can be reached for. These include ROS1 targeted therapies and treatments outside targeted therapies. Currently, there are two ROS1 inhibitors that are approved by the FDA for use in ROS1 positive lung cancer. These are crizotinib and entrectinib. And then there are a number of other therapies that could be accessed in clinical trials as well. This brings us to key point number three. Ask your doctors about clinical trial options. Now, depending on where you live, this may require travel. There may be logistical or financial challenges. Nevertheless, this is a fantastic way to broaden your understanding of ROS1 positive lung cancer and to familiarize yourself with the most up-to-date treatment landscape. Key point number four, explore the patient advocacy groups and the support that is available through your patient caregiver community. They can offer so much valuable information, support, and really friendship throughout your experiences and challenges um, having to live with lung cancer.